Hi Ian, well done on the session. Just going to run through a couple of things we discussed there in terms of the movement. As you said, you felt you wanted to try to avoid going onto this back foot during impact. We know it's been a problem of yours in terms of your swing or a tendency, should we say, where you lean on that back foot, cause the club to bottom it a bit early, hit the ground a bit heavy or catch on the way up and thin the golf ball. And when you do strike it well, it can often lead the ball going to the left or that weak cut out to the right. So the thing I'm trying to practice now is when you turn back is not trying to go onto your left side in the back swing. You can see here as you get to about here now, rather than kind of rotating that right hip and right shoulder, we just kind of lean on our left side as we get to the top of the back. So we're not really sort of turning that shoulder behind that much, staying a bit sort of static with the body rotation, then kind of completing the movement now with a bit of a lift with the arms and losing a bit of grip pressure there as we can that finger sort of just peeking off as you can just about see. It's a bit blurry, but that little finger now kind of coming off the grip, losing a bit of pressure now as that club starts back down. So as we then come back into the impact position, you can see your head now moving back because you put too much pressure on your left side at the top. We now push off onto that back foot because there's no rotation in the backswing. We sort of pop back and you can see the weight now on the back foot, the left foot, a bit of an indicator, sort of heel coming off the ground, that pivoting motion. I mean, there's not much weight on that left foot. So in terms of practice, try to get the sensation we're turning a little bit more into that backswing get that right side and right shoulder behind you a bit more and then the drill we discuss there now is from here once you've got to the top of the back swing pause at the top and stop and then drop that club back on line trying to feel as though you're trying to swing downhill pushing that weight into that left foot pushing that weight down from the top of the back swing and not doing it to it hence the reason why we do the pause because then it sort of signifies the completion of the back swing feeling that coil and turn and then the push down into that left foot. So from here, now we're pushing down to the left foot, not trying to do it too early, too quickly. So you can work on that drill, pushing that weight down to that left side. We get the club to about here, about sort of ground parallel. And what we're looking for is that club to be facing the ground a bit more and the weight now favour into that left foot. If we can get that position there, or certainly practice to get into that position a bit more, that's going to help our ball striking. A, in terms of the launch conditions, get that launch angle down a little bit, get that ball flying a bit further, and improve that angle of attack in the golf ball, bottoming the golf club out a little bit after impact, as opposed to your tendency from that sort of leaning back here, with the body weight too far back here, the club bottoming out somewhere around here. So hope that makes sense. Get some practice with that. If you're down the range, send some videos over to me. I'll take a look at them and we'll see how we're doing, okay? And obviously any questions, give me a shout, but I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, Ian.